All right guys, we are going to discuss a little voodoo floss work here, specifically for the ankle. If we're dealing with maybe a little bit of an Achilles issue or calf issue, or maybe you've rolled an ankle or just an ankle that is feeling maybe stiff, um, a little, uh, maybe feeling a little lack of stability, um, this one's gonna be for you. So we're gonna take some voodoo floss here. We're gonna kick our shoe off and we are going to wrap up the foot here. So we're gonna capture what I'm gonna work on here is kind of prioritize capturing as much tissue as I can kind of around the foot as well as around the base of the ankle. I'm gonna leave a little gap in the band here um, at the base of the ankle. You don't necessarily have to. We can capture that entire aspect of the, of the, uh, of the heel if you want. I like to get a little gap in there. I just feel like I can get, I can get a little bit more movement out of the ankle when I do that. Uh, but if you're feeling some stiffness or, or maybe some tightness right at, the, right at the base of the heel here, then I would recommend capturing that aspect of the ankle. What I'm gonna work on here is just working through some range of motion. I'm gonna keep the toes kind of tacked down into the ground. And I'm actually going to keep a relatively passive foot here. So I'm not going to be overly active in my foot. The, the uh, voodoo floss by itself is obviously going to offer a lot of stability and structure to the ankle here. So I'm going to allow the tissues themselves to try to relax a little bit as I move them through some ranges of motion. So I'm working through a little uh, dorsiflexion here, kind of pulling out. And then I can wind up here and really work into some loaded up plantar flexion. I can walk around with this guy and I can run as well with this wrapped up and really what I want to do is just create some different load dynamics with the voodoo floss going here and then after two to three minutes I'm going to pop this thing off unwrap and Walk around here, let that perfusion of blood kind of come into those tissues here. You can hit this multiple times a day. Um, if we're coming off with an ankle sprain or something along those lines, I would really recommend hitting this you know, as often as you can here. We should not feel like we are getting more sensitized as we're booty flossing. So, like I said, we do it numerous times throughout the day. If, again, if you're dealing with an ankle sprain or something that's feeling really tight, or we're really lacking some range of motion or moving in the ankle, I mean, you could honestly hit this thing 10, 12 times a day. Um, the more the better. If you've got some palpable inflammation in the ankle, that's gonna help kind of flush that system out. Um, if you're look, working a little bit more in a proactive standpoint here, hit this thing, you know, a couple times a week. Um, you know, if you're running or if you're uh, putting or jumping a lot, putting a lot of demand on the lower leg, um, just wrap up as a little bit of a proactive way to get some good blood perfusion into those tissues. Make sure we're staying ahead of the game. Voodoo floss on a regular.